the third window period for ticket sales ended last week, with a total of 1.2 million applications received from 192 countries. Apart from South Africa, who applied for more than 900,000 tickets, the highest demand has come from the USA with 50,000, the UK with 41,000 and Australia with 15,000. First of all, I'd, I'd like to say that clearly since the final draw in Cape Town uh, to the close of this phase, sales phase 3 on the 22nd of January, uh, we have seen a flurry uh, of activity in terms of ticket sales. Uh, we are particularly happy with the result of the ticket sales in our own country in South Africa. Also, uh, we are very happy with the support behind the fun. The fun is very clear to me, and I'm confident that all of the matches will be sold out for the fun. The fun indications are that in the last two weeks has been quite uh, an activity in around people getting out there and getting the tickets. In addition to that, on the 15th of April, we'll have all over the counter sales, and that's why I express the confidence that uh, by the time we come to April, uh, the Bafana Bafana will have a full stadium, and, and so uh, will this World Cup see tremendous support. So, overall, we are very happy. They were previously concerned with the ticket sales from South African citizens. There was an increase of 24.9% in applications from South African residents in the third sales phase, when compared to the earlier ticketing stages. But how are the ticket sales in the rest of Africa? This is an interesting question all, uh, also, because uh, I think the expectation here in South Africa was from the beginning that uh, a lot of people should come in from the other African qualified countries and uh, the amount is, is not overwhelming as it's, it is now, but it's increasing. And uh, we understand that uh, the logistical uh, conditions between uh, Ghana and the others, when it comes to flights, etc., it's not so easy. There are not, not many direct flights and whatsoever. So we, we work on that and hopefully we are successful in providing more facilities, more transport for these uh, football fans from these countries. At the media briefing, Jerome Falk lashed out at the negative press South Africa is receiving. He named England and Germany the main culprits. I mean, it's sad that every morning you wake up and every morning there are articles of people coming from the world of football or the football family or, or some other families saying that people should not fly to South Africa, that it's a dangerous country, that this is not good, that this is not nice, that, that there is no way uh, this person will fly to South Africa because it's a, it's a crazy country, that even him think that the FIFA made the wrong decision to organize the World Cup in South Africa, that Blatter made the wrong decision and now he knows that he made the wrong decision to come to South Africa. It's insane. Uh, I mean, it's definitely completely wrong. I mean, what we are asking is at least uh, that we have the same treatment, and we in South Africa, that there is a fair treatment to South Africa as all the other World Cups got. I mean, a few months ago, a few weeks ago, you remember there was a, an helicopter shot in Brazil from a favelas in Rio de Janeiro. I mean, it was just an article over one day. I'm sure that it will happen in 2011 when the World Cup will take place in Brazil. It will be, how can we go to Brazil when they are shooting on an helicopter? In the USA, where uh, a week ago a guy, and I don't know what's happened to him, with him, but he woke up in the morning and he shot eight persons. He was arrested. Then, how can we organize the World Cup in the USA maybe in 2022? Uh, I mean, where we can organize the World Cup? On, on the moon, uh, where, where there is no one? I mean, if we have to organize the World Cup in places where you, have to, you don't have a human, if there is, uh, to make sure that it's safe, then why we still organize the World Cup? Uh, again, my point is to say that how people can describe South Africa, how can people can talk about South Africa and say that the World Cup is a mistake here before having organized the World Cup. Let's wait for the World Cup. If something is happening at the World Cup, okay, fair enough. I would be the first one to say, sorry guys, I was wrong and I, 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 I supported the World Cup in South Africa since day one. But don't kill the World Cup before the World Cup is taking place. Horst Schmidt organized the first World Cup in 1974 in his homeland. Schmidt spent many years as a FIFA expert in the areas of security and ticketing. He has been in and out of South Africa since 1997. We got his thoughts on the negative press. What I see, uh, as I see it uh, from the beginning, security was always an issue. It was more the in issue in, uh, in Europe than it is here or in other parts of the world. Uh, uh, skepticism so far started from the beginning. 
It was the same when it comes to infrastructure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, I thought uh, when I uh, look uh, to Europe that it has settled, but it, if only a, a little thing happens, uh, like Angola, and nobody even realizes that's more than 2,000 kilometers away, it's again an upcoming issue. And uh, I think what we have uh, did today is it's, uh, it's the right direction to say, please treat South Africans fairly.